welcome back to my video. I'm going to be doing some vintage waves with one inch curling iron and with the Lotta Body concentrated solution that most girls use to set their hair with, I'm going to dilute it with water. I'm going to do one part water with one part solution and I just got these spray bottles from Sally's. And be sure to adjust that spray. Um, I'm dampening my hair with water first because it says to uh, put the solution in on damp hair. And be careful, I sprayed my background. <laughs> anyway, don't worry about that. It'll dry, but um, we're going to adjust the spray and then I'm going to go through all my hair. And my hair is pretty long, it's to my waist, and I've managed to grow out most of my layers because I wanted to get my vintage waves really flowy. So I'm combing it through and I'm going to section the hair in half. And I find this for me is the easiest way to work with the hair. And I'm basically going to just section it off so it's easy to work with and I don't tangle it. And I'm just rolling it up. And as you go, you can spray a little more solution just to make sure that you get it through. Comb through so you don't get any clumps. And I just use a really wide tooth comb that I got from Sally's as well. That's my one inch Hot Shots Curling Iron Gold Series. And I love that. I do a lot of the vintage waves with that. It gives you a bigger wave than say if you used a three quarter. So um, I'm going to grab sections and go around. The sections are about one inch. I didn't love how this one piece turned out. As you can see, I didn't grab the end. So don't worry about it. Just grab it again and redo it. Practice makes perfect. So I'm gonna grab that section again and I'm gonna redo it. And as you can see, my hair is pretty long. Um, so, and I'm just winding it around the barrel and you always wanna go in the same direction. That's gonna help make that wave look uniform. I keep the top open and then I grab it to kind of mold it and just for a couple seconds, then I move on to the next section. I'm just flipping it back just to get it out of the way. And I use a glove all the time because I am clumsy and I burn myself. So once again, I'm wrapping around the barrel. The barrel is pointed upward. Then I'm letting it go and just grabbing it. I'm, and what's easiest is just to slide it off in your hand in the glove. Grab it for a few seconds. That molds it, the hair, the heat, and then continue on. And if you don't overthink it, you'll find that this goes really fast. This only takes me 20 minutes. So once again, as you can see, I'm, I'm grabbing it. If you want, you can clip the hair like that. It popped out, but you can clip it um, and hold it if that's easier for you, or if, you're, if your hair is hard to hold. But the whole point of this is that I want to see if the Lotto Body uh, Concentrated Solution diluted with water will be a good replacement for the styling starch I used to use. So I want to see if this styling lotion will help hold the waves. So we've done that side. As you can see, you can see all the nice waves. We just do a light comb through. And I'm going to take long banana sized clips and I'm going to put them in opposite directions. And I'm just going to kind of go with the flow of the wave and that's going to help hold it. As you can see, I'm just kind of pulling it out and I'm going in um, backwards and forwards with the clip, one forward, one in the opposite direction. And I'm just gently following the, the wave. And I'm going right to the end because I have long hair, so I want to see if I can get my ends more uniform. I'm spraying it with a humidity resistant uh, finishing spray. You can use this before or after, and I use this a lot in a lot of my videos. All these products you can find at Sally's Beauty Supply. They don't uh, sponsor me. I just, it's close to my house. It's easy to find, and it's inexpensive. So this is a great affordable way to get gorgeous hair. And as you can see, I've just done, gone and done those clips all the way down. One, one in one direction, one in the opposite direction to flow with the wave. Now I'm going to do my second section. And once again, I'm going to grab one inch sections. I did flip my glove around so that I don't burn myself. I'm going around in the same direction, so I'm pointing up with my barrel. And I'm just grabbing those ends and going as close as I can, holding it to mold the hair. And like I said, if you want to clip it, if you feel like that'll hold it better, go ahead. I'm just going to let it go. I'm just holding it for a few seconds. You can see the spiral it created. And then I'm going to move on to the next section. And like I said, don't overthink it. Once you really take control of your hair and um, just keep going, then you'll just find a flow with it and it won't get tangled and you'll just find your way of doing things. And that's what it's about, finding your own way to do your hair. It'd be great if we had someone to do it all the time, but we don't. So this is just simple tricks to help you out and you may be able to use some of them, you may not. But um, just, you know, practice makes perfect. So once again, we're one inch sections, wrapping the same direction, going around, being careful not to burn yourself. You can kind of turn that barrel in to kind of pull it closer to your head. Slide it off, hold it for a few seconds to mold the curl. And there you go. 
and we're in our last section. And if you miss a couple of hairs, don't worry about it. You can go back and just grab a few pieces. You can kind of see that I missed one or two little hairs. And you can go back and recurl that. It's not going to make a huge difference. You're also going to be taking those clips on that side and molding it, so that's also going to help. And I'm going to take my comb and my brush because I want to tease those ends. I want to see if I can get them a little bit more uniform than I normally do. And you can see I can gently come through with a wide tooth comb. You get a nice wave. So I'm going to take the clips out of the other side because I don't have enough clips. And it's pretty much held for long enough. So I'm pretty happy with that. You can see kind of the wave pattern. And now I'm going to apply those clips to the second side in opposite directions. One forward and then one reverse. And I'm kind of flaw following the flow of the wave. And just shaping it. And then pulling it out, like fanning it a little bit. And just going all the way down. I have quite long hair. If you have shorter hair, this will work even easier on you. These techniques are the same. And then what I'm going to do is spray it a little bit, help get some of those flyaways down, adjust those clips, just to give it some space in between and hold. And then I'm going to let that sit for a couple minutes. And as you can see, the other side turned out good. You can keep sculpting it with the hairspray and it's a finishing solution before and after you can use it and that helps mold the hair and shape it. I'm going to use this pomade to smooth down some of the frizzies while I wait for the other side to kind of set and I really try to get my top really smooth. I'm not so worried about the ends because I usually let my hair loose kind of flowy in the curls. Today I'm going to try and mold it a little bit more and perfect my wave. Okay so here we are and I've given it a few minutes to hold on the other side. I would say about 10 to 15. I mean, experiment with it. See what works for you. Now I'm going to try and tease the ends. I'm using a comb because I'm kind of concerned I don't want to brush them all out. But I'm gently going to go in with the comb and the brush and just play around with molding those ends. I'm pretty new to doing that. So um, if you have a better way of doing it, feel free to share. I'm experimenting right now because my hair is super long. So I'm teasing and spraying to kind of get it bouncing up. And as you can see, it's working. So I feel like the lot of body concentrated, diluted with water worked in holding my wave. So I'm pretty happy with that. And there's the brush and I'm just kind of back combing it gently. I mean, obviously if I had somebody else doing my hair, this would be um, probably a lot faster. Maybe not so much faster, but like sculpted. And it just depends how, how much of a blanket you want your hair to be with those waves. You can really spray it and make almost a helmet. And I've seen people do it. I like mine loose because I like to run my hands through my hair. It's a habit I have. So I'm not making it rock hard, but I am teasing it to shape it. And as you can see, it's kind of going up in comparison to the other side, which is still really long. So I just keep kind of teasing, brushing, and molding it up. And I've got a nice wave. So I'm pretty happy with that. And now I'm going to do the other side. So let's take those clips out. And I've got a nice curl with that. I'm just going to run a wide tooth comb, spray it a little bit, and I'm going to start shaping it. I'm going to take the brush and comb. And keep in mind, my hair is a little bit uneven at the bottom. If you have one length hair, this would be a different process. It would be kind of a straight line. So I do kind of need a trim, but I haven't done it in over a year because I've been growing out my vintage waves. And every time I go, somebody cuts it off completely. Um, I've had a couple good hairstylists, but right now, this is my journey. Anyway, so you can see how I'm grabbing it and scrunching it up. And I've teased the ends and I've sprayed it. Now, I haven't made it a hard blanket. So you could keep going with this. All right, now we're going to use a little more pomade, get the other side down, get those flyaways. And I use the front and the back of the rack tail comb to get rid of my frizzies. And just kind of give it a puff. I'm really happy with the way the ends turned out. And you can just kind of keep playing, kind of teasing those up. You can keep brushing them out if you wanted it to be more of a blanket, like I said. But spray, I'm pretty happy with this, this look. And then I'll show you. Here's the final look. And I think it looks really cute. So I hope you like it. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share if you enjoyed this video. Bye-bye.